you've probably heard about atoms. They're the building blocks of the universe. But do you know how they're made up or how they bond together to make elements? Well, if you're in primary school, then probably not. That's the sort of science that's usually reserved for the last few years of high school. But maybe that's not how it should be. Sarah found out about a school in Brisbane that reckons you're never too young for some of the biggest ideas in science. This is Year 10 Science, a place to experiment and find out about the stuff that the universe is made of. Molecules, elements, atoms. It's the sort of stuff that you really have to be in high school to get your head around. Or is it? And what do we call a substance that is made up of just one kind of atom? Yep, an element. An element. That's perfect. Here at Ithaca Creek State School in Brisbane, primary school kids are learning the sort of science usually reserved for years 10 and 11. They're not super geniuses, they're ordinary 8 and 9 year olds. But the teachers reckon that's no reason not to start thinking about quantum mechanics. The idea came from their teacher, Mr Stewart. He used to teach high school chemistry and physics, but after talking to his son, who's in primary school, he realised younger kids understand more than most adults think. My son, um, Tom, was asking me questions about science, and when I explained it, he got it straight away. There was no barrier to him understanding. So Mr Stewart and some of his fellow teachers decided to make some changes. Primary school science is often about the world you can see. Stuff like how water erodes the sides of creek banks. It's not very often that you're asked to think about what water's actually made of. If guys at the front can see this, wow, look at that. But that's what these guys are doing. They're learning about molecules and atoms, the tiny building blocks of everything around us. The first shell can only hold two um, electrons, so we're going to put one electron on the second shell. And while even older kids sometimes find chemistry like this a bit tricky, these guys are loving it. Well, I usually think that science is really boring and, like, not, not fun. But when Mr Stewart came in and he started giving us all this stuff, I'm like, this is actually quite fun. We get to do a whole, lot of, a whole heap of things that the other classes don't get to do. Like, we get to use plasma lamps and things, we get to build models of molecules, we get to build models of atoms. We've um, made a molecule which has ten, ten hydrogens, and five, which are these, five carbons, which are these, two oxygens, and one nitrogen. Uh, two nitrogens. It's called glutamine. glutamine. The teachers reckon learning this sort of stuff will help the kids in other areas. And they're hoping it'll get them excited about science. <laughs> Aussie scientists have made discoveries which have changed the world. So science is a really important subject. But the worry is, not enough kids are choosing to study it. But experts reckon classes like this could help to change that. By showing younger kids just how fascinating and just how fun science can be.